Okay, there's another Holiday on Ice show. Down at the Mold Dome. What we used to call it. It's the Rock Island Armory. It's no longer there. That's a good thing. Dancing hippo. They have hippos? That's cute. <laughs> must be two people in there that's some choreography I must say to be able to skate and bend over there are two people in there <laughs> yeah you teach that guy Holy moly, somebody almost got that on. <laughs> like I used to, like I said, the Rock Island Armory and the Wharton Field House and Palmar Auditorium were like the mark of the Quad Cities at the time. That's where all the big events happened. And also the, oh, the Call Ballroom and the Masonic Temple. They were like five marks into one. No, it's not Inspector Gadget. That's years before. Could be. Yeah, there, gorilla. Oof. Skate and put a gorilla suit on. Well, that's two things I would never do. There's some mice there. Oh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Where you come from, Spider-Man? Nobody knows who you are. The web. He got him in the web. She really put on a show. Ooh, let's ride bicycles on ice. That is talent. Riding bicycles on ice with big old costumes. Yeah. Almost looks like Mayor McCheese, but it's not. I know that's not him. <clears throat> Somebody finally fell over. Hello, little baby. Oh, whoa, right through the fire. Whoa. See if he does it again. Yes, he does, and done set a fire. I guess if he did set a fire, he'd just put himself against the ice. Hello, ladies. Well, well where did that dog come from? Well, there's Twinkie. Where did he come from? Huh. These are totally out of order. Uh, who cares? I'll just go to the end anyway. Balance beam. 
E, not for me. I cut. Oh, there's the cement mixer. There it is. The cement mixer hooked up to the gas engine. We had tons of gas engines. Didn't like collector's items. Not sure what we were mixing that day. Grandpa, he's looking at that like, oh, this is the most beautiful thing in the world. He ain't thinking that's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh, cars, where's this at? Oh, I'm not sure. Somebody needs to tell me. Lido? East Moline? How ironic. I'm now taping. I was a racing reporter, now I'm taping racing. <clears throat> Look at those suckers. We had an old car in the back of our field when I was a kid. It was just sitting there, dead. It wasn't like that. Not like these. <laughs> hmm. If anybody could tell me where this was, that'd be totally great. It could be Alito, could be East Moline, could be the Rock Island Fairgrounds, we're not sure. <sighs> Motorcycles. What kind are those? Please let us know in the comments. Are they Indian? Ah, gas engines. More gas engines. Yeah, these gas engines are... Well, I wouldn't say they're antiques. You can't really say they're antiques until they're 100 years old. Technically. I couldn't fit in there, that's for sure. That reminds me. Oh my god, the Cub game. Well, I already showed this, but I'm going to show it again. 1982, scheduled double header. Cubs versus Reds. It was raining that day. Hmm. Beautiful. You got the tarp on the field. Well, at least we would get one game in. We knew that. That's um, Fergie Jenkins. And Jack Brickhouse and some guy from Chevrolet giving Fergie Jenkins the Player of the Month award. Two Hall of Famers there. Johnny Bench didn't play that day. I was very disappointed. Alex Trevino. Bump Wills. Bump Wills was the second baseman. But then he mysteriously disappeared, went to Japan, and the guy playing third base came in and uh, took his position. A man by the name of Ryan Sandberg. Maybe you've heard of him. Not many Hall of Famers. Bill Buckner. Oh, you poor bastard. Oh, Bill Buckner. I don't know. I heard. Oh, there's Leon Durham. Uh, you don't have to tell me that. That's Leon Durham. He had a really, he always has held that bat really, really high. But then he started lowering it and lowering it and lowering it. That's what we knew he was having a little problem. Yeah, the first game, the Cubs won. Who was the pitcher? Dickie Knowles was the pitcher. And he took the... Who's this? Well, Keith Moreland's in there somewhere. I know that. Ooh, they got a rally going on. It's... We want a hit. We want a hit. We want a hit. Darn tootin' we want a hit. 
1982, the first year of the Tribune Company. First full year of the Tribune Company with Dallas Green as the general manager. Back in those days, if the Cubs finished in next to last place, that was a good year. Usually, me, us and the Mets were battling for next to last place. When the Mets came to town, he's safe. Hey, he scored a run. How about that? It's rally time. It's rally time. But back in the day, if the Cubs finished in next to last place, that was a good year. Oh, that's the end of the game. Cubs win. Dickie Knowles gets the win. And that is it, folks. For a little bit.